guys, it's Maria, and welcome to the fourth and final week of my Plastic Free July. If you haven't watched my previous weeks, you should go check them out because there's a lot more things that I did for this month than I did for this week. This whole month, I have been trying to greatly limit the amount of plastic that I've been using, specifically single-use plastics. It's been pretty challenging, but luckily I already had made in the past few months a bunch of changes trying to use more reusable things than single-use items. So I was slightly more prepared for this challenge than I thought, but I definitely was a bit more conscious about things like groceries. Groceries were a struggle, guys. So many things have plastic. Ugh, it's so stressful trying to find things that aren't covered in plastic. But I did my best and this is how my last week went. I went shopping the other day at Sam's Club to just get my normal groceries and I didn't get all the groceries I needed because I wanted to find a different place with less plastic. <laughs> the thing of Sam's Club and Costco is that it's great to buy in bulk which usually if it's a bigger container it means you're saving money and you're using less plastic because it's better to buy one big one than two small ones, right? However, a lot of the things that also came in bulk came two little containers wrapped around with plastic wrap. So a lot of the things had more plastic than they needed to. It was a little overwhelming, but I am going to go to Sprouts now. Hopefully I can find some fruits and vegetables and things that I need that don't come in plastic. Wish me luck. I'm bringing my reusable bag and my produce bags. And of course, I forgot my shopping list, so. This is really cool. They have refillable spices, but they still use little plastic bags, so I might have to bring some reusable ones to fill them up. If I'm allowed to. It's a glass bottle. These frozen vegetables came in a paper bag. I thought that was really cool. And they did have meat that wasn't packaged in plastic bags, but I was too chicken to ask how they wrap it. Do they wrap it in a plastic bag or in a paper bag? I don't know. I assume they wrap it in a plastic bag and then hand it to you. They also had a lot of grains and nuts and things like that that you could scoop and put in a bag. I didn't have any appropriate reusable bags that I could use it for, so I didn't get any of that. I got what I could from Sprouts. It was mostly just fruits and vegetables. Now I'm at Target. I'm about to go recycle some plastic plastic bags that I have accumulated over the past few months and I'm going to get some soy milk that I didn't find at Sprouts and a silicone ice cube tray because the one I had was plastic and the plastic was slowly scraping off and I don't want to be consuming more plastic than we already do. So I hope I find a silicone one. Okay, so I found soy milk but I also found these ice cube trays. I got two of them. They are silicone. I was hoping to find one the size of my plastic ice cube tray so it could go on top of my thing I put my ice cubes in but these will be great I also got I found these cute little tiny basil plants I got a basil a mint lavender and rosemary so I'm gonna grow my own little spice plants and I'm so excited so the orange juice I got is in a glass bottle I ended up getting potatoes bananas broccoli which I'm going to cut into pieces and freeze so it'll last longer apples, avocados, and tomatoes. These produce bags I got from Grove Collaborative. I will put the link in the description if you want to get some of your own.
today I am going to be trying this charcoal toothpaste from David's Natural Toothpaste. They sent me some to try out and I will be doing a full review video in a couple weeks so stay tuned for that. But today, for this last week of Plastic Free Free July, I will be trying this peppermint charcoal toothpaste. This toothpaste tube is actually made of aluminum, so it's 100% recyclable. All you have to do when you're done is cut it open and clean it, and you can throw it in your recycling bin, so it's not made out of plastic. However, the cap is made out of plastic, but it's made out of number two plastic, which is pretty recyclable. It's also natural, vegan, family owned. It doesn't have toxic chemicals that other toothpaste have. So if you want to see me give a full review on these, stay tuned in a couple weeks. And thanks again to David's for sending me some toothpaste for me to try out on this Plastic Free July. Minty Fresh. I wanted to share the type of tissues and toilet paper and paper towels that I get. If you watched my Grove Collaborative haul video, I showed in more detail there what I use, but I have been buying these from Grove. These right here are tissues and they come in a cardboard box. They are made from bamboo, which is more sustainable than trees, and they don't have any plastic wrapping on them. So I get the tissues, toilet paper, paper towels, and napkins. Napkins, I don't get too much because whenever I end up going out to eat or ordering, which I don't do a lot, we get a lot of extra napkins. So those are the napkins that I mostly use, but I do have a backup in case I run out, which are these from Grove. They're actually really good. They're really soft and feel just like like regular free paper towels and toilet paper and things. Just as soft, just as strong. I highly recommend if you're looking for a good bamboo product. I've bought from them a bunch of times and I highly recommend, so. And of course, I always carry my water bottle with me everywhere I go. It's only been a few days since I planted them, so they haven't really grown anything except for basil. Look at him. It's so cute. There's nothing here, nothing here or here, but basil is doing good, guys. And last week I said I will be using this McDonald's cup to plant a cactus, and here is the dirt. The seeds are in there. Uh, might have put a little too much dirt, maybe should have gone up to here, but that's okay. They just need to grow a little bit, and I'm going to transfer them into bigger pots, but it's in a greenhouse right now. Hopefully they'll grow. That is it for this last week. I know I didn't really take you shopping with me to buy the things that didn't have fruit, but I almost had a small little mental breakdown because I got so overwhelmed trying to find things that didn't have plastic, so I just didn't record. But basically, I got things like chicken. I'm not a vegetarian. I know that's not as eco-friendly as vegetarianism is, but I tried to eat more chicken than like red meat. Chicken came in plastic, some frozen foods that I buy, vitamins, bread, so many things are just unavoidable and that's okay as long as you're conscious and if there is something that you can change, like milk being in a cardboard carton instead of a plastic bottle, if you can make that change then that's great. So I did try to make as many changes as I could, some of them I obviously couldn't. July is almost over, there are a few more days of July which I will still be trying to be plastic free, but not enough so I'm not going to make an extra week out of this, it's just going to be the same basic things that you've seen me do for this past month. After this month I am definitely going to keep trying to do this and this has definitely helped me to see what things and in what areas I can change. For example, Starbucks. I don't get Starbucks a lot, but when I did, I would just get one of their cups. But now I have my reusable cup and I will be taking that every time I want Starbucks. Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. It's been a bit challenging and overwhelming because so much plastic. But it's great to see that there are certain options and some changes that companies are making to reduce their plastic and hopefully in the next few years that will be even more companies doing that. Let me know if you did Plastic Free July, what changes and what things you did to be more sustainable or if you do any of the things that I did let me know. But for now, thank you guys again for watching this and I will see you next week. Bye!